Hello, Todd Lewis here from Charles Lewis Photography. The holiday season is upon us, and it's a strange one, isn't it? First and foremost, I hope that you and your family are staying safe and healthy. As you gear up for the holidays, you're having to plan things potentially a little differently than you've done in the past, aren't you? Hopefully this is the only year that we will have to do this. By next season, I'm sure everything will be back to normal, but right now we have to adapt. And that's what this time is all about, right? It's about adapting. And right after the holiday season, we head into a new year, 2021. With a new year comes some new retrospection and some new planning for what comes next. As a photographer and as a business owner, you have to be giving some thought to what you're going to be doing this coming year. No growth or positive change happens without pre-planning, and now is a vital time to be planning your 2021. Now, I want to pose a few questions for you to keep in mind as you're thinking about your business and what it's going to look like going forward from here. Number one, how did your business do this past year, and how did it compare to the year or two previous to this one? Now, obviously, this year, for a lot of businesses, photography businesses included, they took quite a bit of a hit, right? Which is why I want you to take a look at how you did this year and also what kind of you know, profits you brought in and that sort of thing, what types of clients you work with, but more importantly, how does it compare to previous years? Invariably, by doing this analysis, you will learn some things. You'll see some trends that will present themselves. You will probably find some types of photography that you did that proved to be more profitable on a per client basis than others did. And some of these revelations might surprise you. It's important to know your average sales for every type of photography that you did over the last year or two, and to take a look at what marketing you did, and make note of what marketing methods brought you the best target market for what you do. Now, number two, use this information to help plan out your marketing for 2021. As part of this, first and foremost, you have to have a budget set for yourself. How much money are you able and willing to invest in your photography marketing in 2021? One of the biggest mistakes that I see photographers make when they're planning out their year is that they don't come up with a marketing budget at all, and they end up not investing much, if any, money in marketing over the course of the next year. And marketing is the lifeblood of your business. Make no mistake about that. Now, number three. Start putting together a specific plan for your marketing. Implement the amount of money that you have to invest in it. There's a lot of marketing that you can do that does not involve spending money, or at least not spending much at all, and that can be very lucrative. But we have to plan this marketing out in advance. Just doing it on the fly doesn't work. And if you're like an awful lot of photographers out there, January, February, and even into March can be quite slow times of year. These are the perfect times to be putting your marketing plans into place. And when you do this the right way, January, February, and March can all end up being more busy than you realize. You actually can be bringing in clients. Now, obviously, right now, we are living through a strange time. But even if you can't have people right in front of your cameras now, immediately for any reason, you can be building the relationships and building the incredible interest in your service. So as soon as you are able to have them in front of your camera, they are ready, passionate, and excited to do it right away. That's what marketing is all about. All right, number four, make sure to have a strategy in place to keep yourself on task, motivated, and productive each and every day. One of the traits of highly successful business people is the ability to get things done, the ability to take constant action. So make sure you're starting off your day in a positive way, feeding the right thoughts into your mind and energizing yourself to do the things you know you need to do in order to be successful each and every day. Make this a possible New Year's resolution when you start 2021. It's more important than it has been in a long time for us to stay positive each and every day. You have more control over this than you think. Remember, it's not what happens to us in life that matters, it's how we react to it. Okay, so there you have it. A few things to just keep in mind as you go through this holiday season and as you gear up for 2021. Please feel free to comment below and start a discussion about this stuff. If you'd like more details, I'm happy to share them here as well. Stay safe and healthy as always, and have a great rest of the week.